Hi, welcome back for another episode. Today I'm going to be making slow cooker green beans, ham, and potatoes. It was actually one of my favorites when I would go to um, my grandma's house in the summertime. And so what we're gonna be using is canned green beans, ham, uh, fresh potatoes, and chicken stock in your slow cooker. This is also one of my favorite meals to make during the school year when we are so busy and so I don't have time to cook, not even 15 minutes I don't have time to cook. So one of the things I wanna talk about with the ham, this ham I pull out of my freezer. So when I bake a ham, I generally do not use the glaze uh, if it comes with a brown sugar or a sweet glaze uh, because I don't want that sweetness on there because I package all the leftover ham and we do lots of things. I do soups and uh, quiche and uh, green beans, ham and potatoes and things like that. And I don't want my ham to be sweet. So um, let's get started. So the first thing I wanna do is spray my slow cooker with cooking spray. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my green beans and drain, drain them. So I have three cans of drained green beans. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my ham. I just have ham pieces, however much you have should be fine. Um, this is probably about two cups of ham. I'm gonna leave these in a little bit bigger chunks, um, but you can chop it up or you can buy one of those ham steaks that's already cooked and just chop up, or I think you can actually buy packages of diced or chunked ham at the store already. next thing is I'm going to peel my potatoes. Okay, so I have my potatoes all peeled right here. And, um, oh, I cut up seven small potatoes. And I'm going to cut them into small bite-sized pieces. Um, and sprinkle them in there. Now these are the small potatoes that you get in a 10 pound bag. Um, sometimes I'll get baking potatoes. And if you're using baking potatoes, you probably only need two to three. Um, but because these potatoes are pretty small, I'm going to, uh, I'm using a few more. The other thing you could do is use um, red potatoes or yellow potatoes. Uh, those are a little bit smaller also, and those you don't have to peel. So sometimes if you're really in a big hurry, that's a, a really good option as well. Um, and I was actually thinking sweet potatoes uh, might be a good option if you have, I have a couple of sweet potatoes back here that made me think of that. But sweet potatoes would be an excellent option also um, because they're, they'll, they'll, they'll do well in the slow cooker, I think. So you wanna put your potatoes Layer it in your slow cooker, and then we're gonna take some chicken stock. I just have pre-made chicken stock. You can also use, uh, oh, I'd say maybe two cups of water and two to three chicken bouillon cubes if you have those. I'm just gonna use a couple cups of the chicken stock and uh, just kind of eyeball it over my potatoes. And then and I have my slow cooker here on the counter. I'm going to put my lid on and I'm going to put these on. Uh, you can cook it on low for seven to eight hours or you can cook it on high for three to four hours. 